one right in between the pole. See them? Yeah, there's a big one right in between the pole. There's one right here. Come out and get it. I have to anchor up. There's two right there. Try another angle. junk fish. All right, let me motor back over there. Yeah, I saw there's two. Getting on the bite is going to be the ticket. Let's find out. Yeah, there's a cloud. See them? All around the pole. There's three. I can't see them. See the one on the surface right there? I can't see anything. All right, we're going to get them. There's three or four. We're going to trick one into biting. There's one, you can see that big one right in the middle. See him? I don't know if you can get them on film. See him right there? There's a cloud of them. Let's see if there's a dumb. There's two right there. See him? Uh oh. One that's ate it. You ready, Jack? You ready to catch him, Jack? That's a big one, too. Oh, he's got us between the piling. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That might be a keeper one. <laughs> I got between the piling. The only thing I can do right now is I got to get that anchor and I can get around it. That's a big one, too. Yeah, he might. I just don't want it. It's on the barnacles. Maybe I can get them up a little. Okay, but we got to get where I can get and unwrap my line. That's still going to be the issue. Oh, he's all wrapped up in there. I don't know how we got it in there like that. If we can... Crap. Hang on. Oh no. I can't hang on to it. Oh no. Well, because, yeah, I need to stay right here so I can get off of the marker. But now I can't because we're too far. Oh crap. It's up under that rebar. Crap. There it goes. But now. Okay, free. Free. We're good. No, let's just drift off and land this fish. I gotta play him real easy. Cause I don't know how Nick my line is. Ready? All right guys, welcome to In The Spread. My name is Captain William Tony. If you're tired of competing for triple tail with everyone else, we're gonna show you some tactics and techniques today on how to get your own fish. Now the recent regulations here in Florida has made triple tail a bigger species. They gotta be 18 inches for a keeper. We may have one, or he's gonna be very close, but earlier in this session, it's a very prominent marker, which they're really hip on getting around. All right, Jack, you're my buddy. Grab that net for me. Grab the net right there. We're gonna land him. I just don't want to break because I don't know how bad my line. Uh oh, the anchor's on the net. Right, hang on to it just a second. You know what net you're talking about. Hold on. Okay. All right, we'll take off right here. Okay. Can you put your sunglasses in your pocket? All right, you ready? All right. So I got my first mate, Jack, here with me today. And I'm playing this fish real soft because we were just wrapped up all over the marker. And we're gonna get him up here. All right, you gotta be ready. Don't put it in the water. Only when you see the fish, okay? 
We're gonna, he's out here. Look, look right here. Watch the line. And he's coming up. He's a decent one, too. Oh, yeah, I see him. He's a nice, that's a keeper. He's a boss bad one. All right, let me see the net. Let's see. All right, hold the net. All right, hang on. Okay, now let me have the net when I tell you, okay? Let's see. Well, I see him. All right, nice fish. Okay, Jack, let's come up here and check them out, buddy. Yeah. All right, watch your hands. Hang on, hang on. Don't put your hands in there. Let's lay him right here and let's see. Oh yeah, he's a nice keeper. Can All right. Off? We're gonna we're gonna handle them very carefully, but let me get my tool because they are very sharp fish. They got real sharp gills. All right, anglers out there. Now here's the idea we were talking about. You know, we fished a pressured area. We got a nice keeper triple tail and had lost another one. I guarantee you this particular area probably gets hit once or twice a day. Just like any other place in the state of Florida, there's triple tail deer ship channels and things and big buoys where, you know, people have luck and catch them, but they're pressured and sometimes they won't bite. But what I do is you know, I'm going to show you first how to make the, the um, fish attracting device or structure. And the next step is what we're going to do is we're going to place them in the water. Ideally, when you place these things in the water, you want to keep them in an undisclosed location. So you don't want to be near any channels or anywhere that uh, other boats may see them or tangle up in them, kind of like a crab trap or something. Um, so ideally, this is the stealth method of making your own fish attracting devices. What you're going to need is cinder blocks for weight, buoys to keep the rope and the structure, which I'm going to use palm fronds, suspended. And um, you can use different types of rope. Mule tape works real well. A lot of people have that laying around. Um, the old poly crab line works very well. And you want to kind of keep it so that it's going to be directly up and down. If it strings out, it's okay also. But the more up and down it is, the more habitat it creates for the triple tail to get in and everything. And I've even seen Kobe on these. So it, it attracts a lot of things, even Span uh, Spanish mackerel and mangrove snapper. Um, just a regular old poly line like this will work also. And most people have this laying around their house. If you live in the state of Florida, it's no problem to find some palm fronds. These came right out of my yard. And they're green, and you might get a month or a month and a half at them before they'll disintegrate and just become part of the environment. So they're environmentally friendly also. Uh, I do know some folks that have used cardboard and things like that on there, but I, I would uh, say don't do that because you don't need cardboard in the water or any trash. This is a you know, basically going to decompose and be gone. And uh, you'll get a good month's worth of fishing off of it if nobody finds your spot. So the whole idea is once I make these is I'm going to put them near this area, probably within a half a mile that only I know, and I'm going to mark it on my GPS. So here we go.